So I received some pretty sad news recently in an email from Zap Wizard. Probably you did too, that Shapeways has died. Now, what does that mean for the multi-tool industry? Well, I want to show a couple of the products that no longer, you can't get these anymore. These are gone for the moment. We'll talk about what that means and also some perhaps some more positive news at the end but let's get some of this negative news out of the way so zap wizard makes a bunch of very cool things for the multi-tool industry he used to and he does have some still available on his website but he relied heavily on shapeways which sort of like a three uh, third-party printing system where you could put in your files and they would print whether metal or plastic or a combination of materials for you, then you can sell on Shapeways or somewhere else. So this holster right here was made by Zap Wizard. And as far as I know, this actually was made by Shapeways. So this right here, very cool right here you can add all these extra bits and so forth then also when we think about the leatherman arc he actually had a barnacle bit holder i think he called it where instead of this light from pc doodle you could actually put a bit an extra bit for your leatherman right there so there's all kinds of add-ons mods especially for the leatherman skeletal so i know a lot of people really seem to enjoy some of these mods. So instead of the knife on your skeletal, you could get a mini utility knife, you get a scalpel on the bottom right here. There was some pretty cool designs for hammers, even a almost like a claw to, to be a pry bar, pull out nails, all kinds of really cool stuff. And then, you know, there were things like this for the SOG Power Pint where you could add a scalpel blade. And even though I'm not a huge fan of this design right here, it didn't turn out perfect on my mod, I have to say that I still prefer these to be available out there. So maybe someone else can tweak it a little bit, enjoy it. I think that's very important for the multi-tool industry to survive and thrive because the sad reality is that Leatherman, Saw, Gerber, some of these companies are not changing their tools to how we like them. It doesn't matter how much we say please, probably these top three will not change their designs. So that's why things, again, on Shapeways, like something like this, this is actually a bit holder for the Leatherman Surge. I believe you could get something like similar to this from Shapeways. This is actually from AliExpress, but you could get something similar from Shapeways I think that was very important for, again, a lot of people. If you wanted your Leatherman Surge to be a lot more heavy duty, use the quarter inch bid driver, then that was a good place to source some of these tools. So I don't know how much this will impact the Leatherman Arc. I know a lot of people really relied heavily on aftermarket parts for it. There's been a lot of video videos made on the, the bit driver for the Leatherman Arc. So we'll have to see what happens about that after Shapeways has closed. So I did look a little bit more into the bit holder for the Leatherman Arc, the quarter inch. So yes, a Zap Wizard actually did make a bit holder, at least for the free series. So that's no longer available uh, for the P4 and so forth. But I think several people had used off eBay, the bit holders off of eBay, perhaps AliExpress. So those probably still are available. But I think this will be a big blow to a lot of people that do not want to buy off eBay. They don't want to buy off AliExpress. And now essentially, unfortunately, that's about your only option. So it's always pretty sad when in the multi-tool world options leave and things that we really liked, we can't get anymore. So why did Shapeways die? Well, so what it sounds like from Shapeways is that they, they became a publicly traded company. There was a lot of pressure from the stock market, from their investors actually, 
to make more and more and more profit. Profits were not that going up, really. They tried to cut staff and so forth, and there was just a lot of issues at Shapeways forcing them to declare bankruptcy. So in the additive marketing industry, it sounds like how to be successful is essentially to grow it very slow. And Shapeways was trying to jump ahead, make a large company, and essentially it just dive bombed, didn't really work that well. But the good news, I guess, is that Shapeways might be back as a private company. Some people say, I guess there was a $5 million uh, bid to bring it out of bankruptcy, which was rejected by its owners. So I don't know that Shapeways will ever return under that name, but perhaps it will return as a much smaller company under another name, we'll have to see. So in the meantime, Zap Wizard did say he's planning to find another supplier for his stuff, like these really cool Leather Monarch sheaths right now. So he does have a meadow comb, beard comb for the Leatherman arc on his website. He has things like t-shirts, of course. He does have a breakdown desk mat, I believe it is, for the Leatherman arc. So you can see the exploded tools. And if you take it apart, it's easier to put it back together. So he does have some products that you can buy, but a lot of his really ingenious products are now unavailable. Now, companies like PC Doodle that make this little light right here, they're still up and running. They're still making this little tester as well. So there are still little companies out there that are making some of these small products and also might be a good time to stock up on some of these. I don't know that they're going away anytime soon, but just as you know, a shout out to some of these creators that have tried so hard to make stuff for the multi-tool industry. So some of the good news is that maybe this will push some makers to again have their own almost supply system. So Kristen Van Patten, he makes a lot of cool things for the Leatherman Arc. He did just send me this updated in a different color ferro rod. Well, it's been a little while actually. Also, the Leatherman Free Series, the pen, the ink pen that you can now use right here in the handle, magnetically just fits right in to the end, uh, right here in the handle. So that's a very cool addition as well. So all these really cool tools that Kristen Van Patten has on his website, be sure to check them out. So I ordered actually a couple tools and then he did send some extra for free, so appreciate that. Also, he did want me to mention that the Leatherman Skeletal, this hammer I was showing you, so he actually has some updated colors in it right here. It is very easy to install. I actually have a video on it, I believe. So you just put it in and then tap this little uh, plastic or composite pin in place and it keeps it in place for you. So some very cool tools. I'll probably go over all these and some more in an extra video, but I wanted to mention that there's makers out there who you can still get things for your multi-tool. So right now, Kristen Van Patten and also PC Doodle are probably the most prolific. And hopefully we'll see Zap Wizard jump right back onto the market after he finds a bigger supplier or a better supplier. So all is not lost, but in the meantime, you may have to buy from eBay or AliExpress for some of these things you might have previously purchased off Shapeways. That's just sort of how the game has gone. So we'll see what happens, but new things are still coming out. Cool things are still happening. All is not lost.